It is not very practical to press Alt and F11 every time and open the VBA editor which will display these codes and then run the codes. It is better to use a clickable button. It can be run from Excel using Alt plus F8. This window will appear and if you select this and click run, the code will be executed. And if you click on edit, you will be directed to VBA editor. But it is also not a good process to run codes. We will use buttons and will change some settings to work smoothly in Excel VBA. To insert a button, you need this developer menu. If it is not showing in your Excel file, then you should enable this. Go to file and options, then check if developer menu is available and if unchecked, check it and click OK. If not available, then from here, select tabs, select developer and click on add. This menu will be visible in the menu bar. Now let us make some use of this developer menu. In developer tab, click on insert, select button from form control and draw a button. As soon as you release the mouse button, a window will appear, assign macro. You will notice that the name we have taken in the sub procedure is showing. Select this and click OK. Now this sub procedure is assigned to this button event. Whenever you click this button, codes will run in the background. Let's test it. Click this button and the message box appears, which means the backend code is running properly. Now we will configure this button. Right click this button and select edit text and then use delete or backspace key type any appropriate name for this button. If you right click on this button and select format control, you can format the button. Although not many options are available. There is another type of button available in ActiveX control. There you can customize any button with more options. We will learn that in another video when we use ActiveX control. Let us try to do some useful calculations using this button. I will do a sum and will display it in another cell. So type number 1 in one cell and below number 2. I will type 100 as number 1 and 200 as number 2. So my total number will be 300 and I will write total in this cell. Let me clarify this once more. I need total here in this cell and the cell address is C5 and the cell address of number 1 and number 2 is C3 and C4. Open VBA editor pressing Alt and F11. Within this procedure, I can print or insert any value in cell A1. You have seen this in previous video and if I change the cell address, the information will be printed in that cell. Type range opening bracket double quote put the cell address which is c5 we need total in this cell close double quote and close the bracket press dot and select or type value you might have noticed when i type a few letter after dot excel vba suggests me few options you can either write the whole word or you can select the word from these options press equal sign this code range then cell address and dot value can be used as printing the data in that cell as well as retrieving the data all depends on the position and placement of this equal sign this sign is after this code it means left side cell address will be fed by the right side code or value or something type range opening bracket double quote put the cell address which is c4 Close the double quote and close the bracket. Press dot and select value. Now I need to add another sales data. Put a plus sign, then type range, opening bracket, double quote. Put the sale address, which is C3. Close the double quote and close the bracket. Press dot and select value. So what I did here is that I have printed this sale value from C4 summed up with C3 sale value. 
go to excel sheet and click the button the result is as per our requirement but don't you think this will be difficult in long run suppose we have 10 numbers in random cells like here then here then here we might not recognize what the cell is representing and in complicated formula it will be very difficult to understand what value they are representing to solve this problem we will use variables variables are used to store some information which can be used to retrieve data and can be used to process data logically and mathematically let me show you if i say num1 is equal to range c3 dot value and num2 is equal to range c4 dot value then it becomes understandable again if i write total is equal to num1 plus num2 then it is very clear to understand in vba we can write all these things and this is called variable assignment but we must declare the variables before any use of that variable which means i need to inform vba compiler about these variables don't worry i will discuss in detail about variables in another video for now just watch how these things work in vba we have specific syntax to inform vba compiler about variables we call it as variable declaration type dim dim which means dimension then space num1 and as integer and hit enter and write dim num2 as integer for number 2 again write dim total as integer now if i try to print the value in c5 cell i need to type a new line of code here which is range c5 dot value is equal to total now i will comment block this code from here and run the code from this button press this button and the result is 300 if you change the value and click the button the sum will be displayed we programmed this simple sum using vba last thing if you don't find these buttons you need to go to view toolbars and then edit click it and this segment will be visible another setting that you would be required to enable macro settings this can be enabled from file options trust center then trust center settings and macro settings enable this for all macros to be enabled click ok and we are back in excel please like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the next video notification thank you